Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. My mother's little candy dish is empty. That means it is time to whip up another concoction. Before I get into this one, I'm going to put a playlist link down below to my other concoctions. And you can see why it is I do things the way I do. It's because I like to just mix stuff together. I don't measure. I don't practice in advance. <laughs> I just like to experiment and we get to see together how it turns out. I do plan on putting this in the freezer when it's done so that I can show you the final results at the end. Let's just hope I can make something. This time she wants something made with her marshmallow fluff, which is just a marshmallow cream. Obviously she wants some of her walnuts because she has that in everything. We were going to include some of the little candies that I got her just yesterday when I was at Roger's, but we decided not to because she is afraid it's going to take away from the flavor of the peanut butter that I have decided we have to use. I was just going to mix marshmallow fluff with powdered sugar and add walnuts and see how that worked. However, I played with a little tiny bit of it in a cup. I just wanted to see if I could get the marshmallow and confectionate sugar, powdered sugar, to mix. And I don't know if it would have ever hardened up. So I put a little bit of peanut butter. And this looks like it's a much better texture and not as sticky because the peanut butter has some oil in it. So we're going with the peanut butter. Because of the peanut butter, we're going to skip these candies for now. One thing I thought of, though, is maybe adding some crushed graham crackers because that might be good give a little crunch but let's just start I'm using a smaller bowl than usual because I just don't want the marshmallow to stick all around to the side of the bowl let's start by adding the peanut butter so let's do that and I think I'll add the marshmallow at this point and mix those two things together it's a fluffernutter candy Get in there. I gotta go wash my fingers. Let's just mix this. I really like the texture of this. I mean, it, it feels good. And I haven't even put the confectionate sugar in yet. All right, I'm going to need more than that, though. So let's do a little bit more of this. Get in there. I guess I'm just going to be dirtying a bunch of spoons. <laughs> And some more peanut butter. Okay, let me chop some walnuts. My handy dandy little chopper. Not too many. That'll be good. I might as well add that little bit that I made. Don't let that go to waste. I think this might be good. I'm going to start adding the powdered sugar. I would say that this was pretty much equal parts of peanut butter and marshmallow fluff. In case you're taking notes. Do I want to put some pieces of graham in there? It would taste like when my mother used to make peanut butter and marshmallow graham sandwiches. She actually used to freeze those and it was so good could crush a graham in there. I think I will. And we'll put that in here. Chocolate chips would certainly be good, but we don't have any. M&Ms would be good too. Ooh, that's kind of a lot of graham. That's all right. She'll like it. I think I'm going to use my hands. My hands clean that I washed several days ago. I just washed them. Oh, I like the texture. I really do. Okay, let's start kneading in some powdered sugar. It's starting to crumble a little bit, so I'm going to get a couple drops of water. I don't even know if that's a tablespoon. Oh yeah, that was at least a tablespoon. 
doesn't take much. And if you put too much, then you just add more powdered sugar. But the water dries. Don't ever mix oil into it because then it won't dry. You want to make this like cuttable, like fudge. If not, then it's a candy that you eat with a spoon. Okay, we need more powdered sugar now because that's the way it always happens. I am calling this done. Now, because there's the peanut butter, there's enough oil that I do not expect it to stick. But if I thought it would stick, I could just put some powdered sugar in the bottom. But I think we're good. Looks like I made just enough. I think she's going to like the little crunch of Graham's in there. I am going to put the cover on her little candy dish that we have been using for her special confections. And I'm going to put this in the freezer for about 30 minutes. And then I will take it out and let it thaw for like a minute or two. I will cut it. Hopefully it will cut. I will show you. Be right back. It's time to test this. This has been in the freezer for a half an hour. And I didn't let it thaw because I think this is probably going to be softer. So I thought it would be easier to cut frozen. Did not stick. Not that bad. Let's cut it this way. If it was sticky, I was going to um, like roll it in some confectionate sugar. But I don't think I'm going to have to. That looks pretty good. I wish the little pan was square. And let's just cut that there. It's certainly holding its shape. It is, you know, going to be a little bit softer. And to me, it looks like perfect fudge. So give it a try. Start with equal amounts of peanut butter and marshmallow fluff and then add whatever you want and then add some confectionate sugar until you can make a ball of dough and then just press it into any plate or any container and you have some fudge. So thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Bye! My mother said this is by far her favorite batch yet. She has always loved cooked peanut butter fudge that has marshmallow in the recipe and I don't like to make cooked fudge. She said this tastes exactly like the cooked peanut butter fudge that she loved so much. And she liked the Graham in there. She said that it's soft. It's not crunchy. She ate quite a bit of this fudge. <laughs>